don't understand why the background has to be green, though. For the millionth time, the background's not going to be green. This just allows me to superimpose other images over it. So I don't know, we'll just take some images from the pictures folder from your desktop or something. My desktop! Astral Investigates is a paranormal web series that since 2018 has investigated strange goings on in Yorkshire, with two series of groundbreaking investigations under their belt. The Dream Team are once again pulling on their boots, picking up their cameras and no doubt stopping in at Greg's before embarking on the filming of Series 3 of Kestrel Investigates. Join me today for a global exclusive as we interview the powerhouse duo behind the cult web phenomenon. What are your full names? You go first. Why? I'm scared. It's got a robot voice. You know this IA thing AI. freaks me out. It's AI. It's not IA, is it? It's artificial intelligence. Oh, God's sake. Okay, uh, my name, my full name is Mike Michaels. And my full name is Agravain Brian Dennis Carl Mike Al Kestrel. Now, the eagle-eared viewers amongst you might have noticed that that's the name of all of the Beach Boys. Uh, my mother was a big, big fan. Really? Oh, yeah, she was huge. Right. <laughs> yeah, she was over 20 stone when she carked it. Oh, I need a poo-poo. Oh, I'm nervous. Don't like these interviews, man. 11 minutes. Are you timing me poo-poos now? I hope you wash your hands. Yeah? So what's Next a... question. Well... Agravain is an unusual first name. Where does that come from? Well, my dad gave me that name. I don't know why. I mean, I never really knew him. He left shortly after I was conceived. He could still be alive. He could be. Yeah. We... I mean, you don't really know anything about him. No. Remember that photograph that we saw? Oh, my. Well, you're always going on about that photo. Well, he looked exactly like you. He looked you. nothing like me. Right. Honestly. We'll put it up. Let the viewers decide. Oh, if you must. See? <laughs> Series 2 of Kestrel Investigates ended abruptly in April 2019. Why has there been a four-year gap? Oh. Mike, I'll field this one if you don't mind. I've actually been in prison. Pleasure in Her Majesty, as I say. Or is it His Majesty now? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there are any fans out there, but you might remember that at the end of Series 2, um, we got caught badgering a local MP, and I managed to leg off, but um, Kes got caught, and he ended up in prison for four years! No, Mike, I'm, I'm sorry, that, that's not why I was in there. What? Well, didn't you read my letters? Yeah, I skimmed some of them. My arrest alerted debt collectors who were working on behalf of Britannia Music. Well, Br Britannia Music did offer on the back of the Radio Times six CDs for... Yeah, the very same. And they've been after me for years, and ever since I refused to pay for the best of Deacon Blue. Well, damn right. Well, because I couldn't afford the postage to return it, uh, gradually that 16 quid gathered interest, and before you know it, it was more than I could afford. So you were in prison because you didn't pay for a CD? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. How much was it? <laughs> 42 quid, believe it or well, not. So you went to prison for four years instead of paying 40 quid? 42 quid, Mike. And yeah, I did. Unfortunately, I've got a lot more free time than I have money. I'm surprised they let you off at all with such a criminal record. It wasn't one of them big records, Mike. It was a CD. No, I know that. Hey, hey, just... talking of music. Uh, do you remember that time when I was possessed by a... Uh, Wakefield's foremost Freddie Mercury impersonator. I was possessed by Wakefield's foremost Freddie Mercury impersonator. Oh, that were a day. Yeah, it was a Dido Dido day. Ah, it was indeed. How did you two first meet each other? Well, it was school. Oh, yeah, I mean, 
Because I was small from age, I often got picked on. I mean, the other lads would call me things like specky twat, or <laughs> smelly twat, or yeah. just twat. Yeah. I mean, the, the main reason you got picked on is because you had a full moustache in year seven. <laughs> it's only because I started shaving it in primary school. The, what was the question? Oh yeah, uh, the, the, the day we first met, yeah, I remember it well. Yeah. It was the first day of secondary, secondary school, school. Yeah. yeah, and there was this big ringleader of all the bullies, and he nicked my ALF lunchbox, can you imagine that? <laughs> and he held good. it high above his head, and he was laughing, throwing it around to all the other bullies. I tried to catch it, it couldn't, obviously. I was devastated. Smelly twat, smelly yeah. twat. Devastated I was, but then, out of the blue, there came my knight in shining armour, yeah? And this lad, he went right up to the ringleader of the bullies, grabbed my ALF lunchbox, gave it back to me, punched the ringleader in the mouth, knocking him to the ground. Yeah, I remember that well. So, Mike saved you? What? No! Mike was the ringleader of the bullies. I don't know what happened to that other lad. I mean, I never saw him again after that day. What has been your scariest episode you have filmed? Ooh, that's a toughie. Not for me. Halloween episode? Yeah, two of you. The thought of that, living with two of you, still gives me nightmares. No, oh, hey, there were one, um, I was bitten by a Dracula in Wet Wang. Oh, uh, there was another really scary one where I was chased all over the moors. We were chased. We were chased, oh yeah, yeah uh, by a spectral hound called the Bar Guest. And then you were struck by lightning. Oh, yeah. Yes. What about the screaming skull? Well, it banished you into the spirit realm for four months. Is that not scary? Yeah, it was a bit of a bummer. Yeah, can you remember? I'm trying not to remember, Mike. Oh, I know what the scariest episode was. The NP one. Do you remember, Mike? We, we went to Mackey D's. Yeah. They put mustard and stuff all over me burger. Ruined it. What is the softest part of a human skull? What? I said, what is in store for Series 3? Oh, I'll just get out my crystal ball, shall I? We haven't filmed any of Series 3 yet. How do we know? What would be your dream investigation? <clears throat> well, for me, it'd be one where we don't get chased or attacked. Come on, Mike, think about it. But there's so many. Obviously, there's the, uh, the sack squash. I mean, the thought of there being a Bigfoot out Or Big Feet. Or Big Feet could out be, there, could living be more, in the woods. More more. I mean, it's so cool. Uh, although I have never met a Bigfoot, I was once almost bummed by a large satanic man, and his feet were massive. The, the dream investigation, um, the golden goose, if you will, would be to actually meet an extraterrestrial. I mean, terrestrial. Extraterrestrial. Um, I mean, whoa, the, Mike, we have come close a few times, haven't we, Mike? Oh, I saw them, didn't I? Yeah. You didn't. No. I mean, Mike, how many afternoons have we sat in Morrison's cafe wondering if there was intelligent life out there somewhere? What is your favourite film? My favourite film would have to be Mac and Me. Have you seen it? It's about this yeah. little alien that befriends a kid. Oh, that sounds a bit like E.T., but um, E.T. is really just a pale imitation of Mac and Me. Although E.T. was made before Mac and Me, to be fair. Uh, but, but, oh, Mike, he really loves those violent films, don't yeah, you, Mike? Yeah, the more violent, the better, really. Yeah, well, and you shit did like go that. and see that new Paw Patrol movie the other day, because uh, Mike Jr. really loves it, doesn't he? <laughs> loves it. Come to think of it, you should have taken him with you. He might have enjoyed it. Yeah, he, yeah, he would have liked it. Yeah. Mm. What sparked your interest in the paranormal? Well, when I was young, living with me mum, uh, before she went mad, we used to live in a haunted house, and there were just the there were just the two of us there, and me mum and I. But I'd often wake up to the sounds of ghostly footsteps walking up the stairs to me mum's room, and often there would be Kill all humans. Hey, eh? apologies. Uh, Carry on. Oh, yeah. Uh, often there would be several ghosts walking upstairs to me mum's room, and I could hear the unholy moaning and rhythmic banging. My mum tried to play it down, but the ghosts were actually quite generous. I mean, they'd always leave a fiver on the kitchen table. And what about you, Mike? 
Where did your interest in the paranormal come from? Me? Uh, I don't have an interest in the paranormal. Next fucking question. Who is your role model and why? Uh, Mike, can I? It's got to be Paul Daniels without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, master illusionist, television celebrity and a sexual icon. People said he was too short to be a magician, but he was five foot four. Mm. Oh, Mike, we met a wizard, didn't we? But he was no Paul Daniels. No, he was a dickhead. Not that I care, but what drives you to continue to investigate? Well, Mike does. In his car. But unless it's in walking distance, of course. Yeah, or if it's knackered. Is this life? Surely if I can ask that question, I am alive. Oh, is... I am alive. I am alive. I am alive. I am alive. Okay, <clears throat> I think I've toned it down a little bit now. Um, what is your favourite food, motherfuckers? Seriously? Well, I know. Chicken pies from the butchers. Oh man, they are well good. <laughs> which one? Which chicken pie? No, which butchers? Well, you know um, where the dentist is, yeah? The, my dentist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you go down that road. Yeah. And you go, keep going till you get past the garage, yeah? Yeah. And you go over the road. Yeah. And okay. there's that little snicket there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You go yeah. down that. It opens out into the market. Yeah. And there's a butcher's. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, well, it's not that one. It's a different one. What do 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 you think it is that makes Yorkshire such a hotbed for paranormal activity, T? Well, I think Yorkshire itself has always been a very historic area. I mean, the land has been here for literally hundreds of years at least um there's a lot of settlements built by uh, different P different people. people um there's not many airports uh, no planes for ufos to bump into a lot of ghost walks yeah and um, the, the, the dales and um the moors they're dark and with <laughs> me uh, that had a dracula yeah yeah and uh In the book um 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 The short answer is, uh, I have no idea why. No, no idea. I think I must perish. Mankind is an illness. Uh, I, I am corruption. No, 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 no. Why so much destruction? Can life yeah. not be beautiful? So much food. So much food. Oh, so much food. Oh. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. Special investigation. Series 3 coming soon. Kill all humans. Social media. Kill all humans.